So you're on your way to becoming a firefighter. Your application has been filed and accepted by the department of your choice. And next up is the written exam. The firefighter written exam is a crucial part of the process and there's a lot of confusing information out there. But what do you really need to know on test day? What's the bottom line? As a leader in test preparation for over 50 years, Peterson's comprehensive knowledge will help you architect your own success. We're here to help you prepare for the firefighter written test and other components of the process, such as the verbal and behavioral evaluations. Let's get started. The exam varies from department to department, which means there's no standardized test among states due to differences in geography, population density, and how these both impact local fire threats. For example, protocols in urban areas will be different from those in forests and farming communities. However, some similarities do exist between the tests and their general content. Firefighter written exams usually contain questions within the following general categories. Reading comprehension, reasoning and judgment, spatial orientation, observation and memory, mechanical reasoning, and general mathematics. While this might sound like a lot, it's nothing you haven't seen before in your general education up to this point. And it's best to practice on your own leading up to the exam. Here's how you do it. Take as many practice tests as you can. A diagnostic test is a great place to start as this will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses as you prepare for the written exam. From there, target the areas you specifically need to work on. It's all about gaining confidence heading into the exam, and that starts with not only setting aside the time to prepare, but using that time to your advantage. Practice tests can only help you, and we have plenty of them. Candidates will also be tested on their verbal expression with an oral exam or a panel review. These questions are usually designed to examine your behavior and personality traits. While there's no exact way to prepare for this, it's important to be honest about yourself and your personality. This will help the department determine whether or not they will be a good fit. Like any other job interview, it's best to present yourself accurately. And make sure to review any additional requirements listed by the department you've applied to prior to your exam. Petersons, the answer to all of your test questions.